Welcome to this video on aggregate calculations. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Have you ever seen an AGG at the beginning of a pill? AGG stands for aggregation and tells us that the aggregation is built into the calculation rather than performed after the fact. Let's create a profit ratio to see this. Double click in the columns shelf and we'll type sum of profit divided by sum of sales. Notice that the pill now begins with an AGG instead of the usual default sum. This means the aggregation is part of the calculation itself. We know what AGG means, but what about ATTR? This is another common thing seen with aggregate calculations. Let's say we want to aggregate separately for different dimension values. For example, we want to average corporate sales, but take the median sales of the other customer segments. Right click in the data window and create calculated field. We'll call this segment sales. And we'll say, if segment equals corporate, then average sales, else median sales, end. But Tableau tells us there's an error in this calculation. We cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate comparisons. So we need to aggregate segment, but how? By using the attribute aggregation. We'll wrap segment in ATTR. And don't forget the parentheses. Now the calculation is valid. When we add segment sales to the view, we can see that the average corporate sales are much larger than the median sales for other segments. And now we know that this pill says AGG because the aggregations are defined in the calculation. But what did attribute actually do? Attribute checks to see if there's only one value for a given field for all rows in a result set. If there's only one value for the data selected, attribute returns that value. If there is more than one value for the subset of data, it returns an asterisk. Another way of thinking about the attribute function is as the equivalent to the logical test, if min equals max, then return that value. We could also use min or max if we know there's only one value, although these may artificially pick a single value when there are many values that could be there. But all of these aggregations are useful for aggregating dimensions to get around the errors like the one we saw. Finally. What about aggregated versus record level calculations? Let's look at the average sale per order. We'll start by right click dragging sales onto the columns shelf. This allows us to choose the aggregation. We'll select average and click OK. This is the average sale per row of the database, which consists of product level transactions, not order level. We want to know the average of a single sale for an order, not a record level average. To do this, we'll create a calculated field. Right click and select Create Calculated Field. We'll name it Average Order Sales. And averages are calculated by summing a set of values, then dividing by the number of values. So we'll do sum of sales divided by the count distinct of order ID. Now we'll bring average order sales to the column shelf. We can see that these values are larger than the average sale value, which makes sense because we're taking the average of values summed to the order level rather than the record level. Thank you for watching this video on topics pertaining to aggregate calculations. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.